Welcome to another episode of Outside the Box. My name is DJ Enough. That's my girl DJ Sage, world famous heavy hitters. In the middle, big man. Who we got? You don't, you don't need no introduction. <laughs> oh, you want me to say it? You too big, man. <laughs> Say it. Am I supposed to say it? We, you can say uh, it. Geeks. Oh, my man that. Geeks, baby, in the building, baby. That's what's up. Because I look at your paperwork, you have too many accolades. What are some of the accolades you are most proud of? And be honest, Giggs. Bro, I'm not going to lie, just getting off the streets, man. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. That's Congratulations. Awesome. I'm glad you're off the streets. Yeah. Well, seeing as we just came out of a pandemic, um, what was that experience like for you? You know, just being in the studio, were you creating? Because I've spoke to a lot of artists and they're like, they loved it because they were just, you know, tapped in in the studio. What were you up to during that time? Yeah, no, more time I was in the studio still. Yeah? Yeah. At first it was a bit weird though. Mm hmm Because that's when they locked down the whole, that's when it was locked down, when the world was on lockdown. The world was on lockdown. You know what I mean? Now. Like all at the same time as well. Remember everyone was online. Did so. you feel like you could pull inspiration during that time? Nah, it was or? weird because they were saying, no one knew the rules, innit? It's like lockdown, so it's like, oh, are you allowed out? Are you allowed? And then they were saying essential work. So you're like, what's essential work? <laughs> You right. know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking, boy, my thing's essential. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's so, necessary. Yeah. <laughs> so then I was going to the studio, but I remember the streets was empty. Mm -hmm. So when I was in the studio, it felt like, felt like man was in the, you watched The Walking Dead. Yeah, you, it I felt agree. like It felt I like agree. that, you I get agree. me? 100%. So I was thinking, it felt like I was doing something wrong. So I started recording. I just felt, I thought, this feels weird, man. I just went home. Oh, okay. like, and then afterwards, we had to warm into it, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. agree. But, yeah. but it's a weird time, like, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. What about you, Sage? How'd you deal with the pandemic? I mean, it was interesting. I felt like we did a lot of virtual stuff, so it was kind of cool, because I'm a DJ, so, well, obviously, but, you know, we were doing a lot of Twitch streams, Instagram streams, which was cool, but it was still, like, you know, you miss that you contact with people, right? yeah. you know? Mm. So, that was quite the experience. It was good for knowing who's who, though. So. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell the real from the fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because like that, in that time, more time you just link who's important, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. in your world, you know what I'm saying? Like so you cut out the bullshit. Mm. So like when it kind of opened up a bit, and like people could come out again, I realized. I don't even want to see that person. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so then I just cleaned up my circle some more. You know I what mean? I mean? you. Let him go. Diggs, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember your first rhyme, your first rap, your first song that you ever wrote? Be honest, Giggs. This is a truthful show here. We don't lie on this show. We tell the truth on this show. It's outside the box. It's outside the box, baby. Yeah, I remember still. But I, you want to say something before us? Nah, because I can't really get into it because it was like... Why? It was like a crime. It wasn't, it wasn't good? It was a, like a, a crime, innit? Like, so. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, is, that, is that slang? Don't we have stat, like stat, a, statues of limitations? What, like, Am I saying it right? Yeah. A crime. A crime, like... Like, I don't want to say what crime it was. That's what oh, I was saying. Oh, <laughs> heard you, heard you, heard you. I'm yeah, thinking yeah. that's like, you know... Uh, London slang, like yeah, a crime. Yeah, no, like, a okay. real crime. <laughs> like, for, what, yeah, so. What part of the UK are you from? From South London, still Peckham. South London? Yeah. How's that neighborhood? Yeah, you know. Give, give me a kind of like breakdown. I'm not from there, so I don't really know. So how would you explain it to the people who are watching who have never been to the UK before? Um, it's just the same as any, any like, hood, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Community, innit? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. everyone knows everyone, you know what I mean? Everyone, people grow up together, problems happen. You know, like everything else? Yeah, like the same. Got you. Good you. things happen, bad things, you know what I mean? It's right. just. So a lot of the drill music that's out right now, I feel like is influenced from the UK. Like for me, I heard like Skepta growing up. Like, you know, I feel like that sound definitely started in the UK and kind of translated over here. So what's your opinion on like the New York drill sound? Do you feel like it mimics the UK? You feel like we're kind of creating our own lane? Like, what's your opinion on that? 
Good yeah. question, Sage. Listen, Good I'll be tuned in with Sage. drill music. Like, I'm a fan, so yeah. I, I definitely want to know. Yeah, the drill thing, that's more like the young youths. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the young, like, gangster, gangster youths. And you know, right. like the older youths, Skepta and that, that's more grime. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? He does the grime thing. Mm -hmm. like, so the record K KMT with Drake, how would you explain that? Because I feel like it has like a drill sound to it, or nah, man, that's no, it's like it's just hip hop, isn't it? Uh, Over the fuck you from anywhere in the world, let's fucking represent. Hey, hey, what? Bring that day, day. Busy with the quick sensation. I got bitches in the murky swerving, looking all curvy, and you already know I love them breasts. I remember being in the club and like especially at One Oak like when we were here at KMT like people were just it was kind of a different sound you know what I mean like it wasn't what we were hearing so to me when I hear drill I feel like I don't know maybe it's, it's it, there is a whole big difference maybe it's like it's got that UK sound right it's a UK sound like Obviously, man makes hip hop in it. Right, like, you know right. what I'm saying? But like, it's still got a UK sound, like, because man does that. It's got like, like reggae, raga, mm -hmm. hip hop. Right. Like, might be like Afro. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So it's that's what I do like about the hip hop that comes from you guys because yeah. you didn't. I feel like in America, <clears throat> I feel like we've lost some of our West Indian heritage that used to be combined with hip hop. Like, you were. In the, back in the days, whether it was a radio or a club or a pub, you could not go to any place if you heard hip hop, you heard raga music or West Indian music or dance hall music. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like that's that that's the norm no more. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I appreciate that you guys still mm. keep those West Indian roots alive. Because there still used to be bangers at, like DM, right. DMX and yes, of course. Sean right. Paul. Right. And that. Like, um, dun, dun, like, here comes the boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I was, um, I heavy D and heavy D and Bujo. Yes, like, you, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. So, that's man's thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, but I want that, that back. I, 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 I need that back. Yeah. And so. I don't know if I'm wishing too much, but I, 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 something. Yeah, I but that's all the flavors of. So maybe that's why it sounded a little bit different. To, yeah, you know it's I mean? funny how we just categorized like drill UK. Like yeah. to me, that really sounded like yeah, it. Yeah, so for that's us, for us, it's different. Right. But that's that's interesting. That, uh, I, that you said it sounds different as mm -hmm. well. Because for me, it just sounds like hip hop. Like right, I mean? right. Yeah. yeah. I guess. We is it, is but it? that's good though. Because yeah. you said it was ringing. I tried. No, nah, but you said it was ringing off. Yeah, no, so, KMC, so, oh, yeah. when that record dropped, it was, yeah. it was intense. So. Yeah, so different is good then. Mm -hmm, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. What about any new artists that are working right now in the States? Are they are they exciting to you? Are they giving you like new vibes that you want to join forces and maybe make a record with? Yeah, I'm always a fan of, of hip hop, like, regardless of States. No matter who they UK, are, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, always. Like, for me right now, um, it's that rowdy thing. You like Rowdy Rebel? Yeah, going hard mm -hmm. still. That's dope. Got the bangers still. What about Pop Smoke? Yeah, Pop Smoke was hard. Yeah, for it was sure. hard still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. out of curiosity. If, if Pop was here, man, it'd, it'd be a whole yeah, different thing. for sure. But, you know, I see your caliber of features that you've had from Swiss Beats to Georgia Smith to Drake. Um, how just, you know, how did you merge <coughs> over to the U.S. to get those features? Because I feel like that's just not any ordinary feature. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how did those relationships come about? Big man. I'm trying to say, like, you know, you humble, but like... <laughs> He's mad humble, but this is the big man. Yeah, no, it's just like, you know what it is, like, I don't know, man. One, like, because I couldn't travel here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, it was hard to get here. Right. Like, they just weren't having it, you get me? Right. And I used to watch, like, everyone from, like, UK going US mm -hmm. and working with people and that. Like, I used to be at home, like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, I need to be <laughs> over there, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, you get me? So, like, then one day I was just watching, um, I was watching the Grammys. And like, I think it was like when Adele's second album come out at 21, mm -hmm. and everyone was talking about Adele. Like, you get me? Right. Everybody. Like, and I was yeah. thinking, and she, she doesn't. She them times she even really used to go America like that. Like, mm -hmm. she used to be in England, and her things ringing off in America. Right. So, I, so I thought 
I'm not gonna get over there. I need to just go hard so like people hear me all the way from there and wanna come and link man in England, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's big. You get me? So that was just my mindset, man. You get me? Mm, and then I was just you. yeah, just attacking what that's what's up. You know what I, mean? I feel like that's so major, especially being on the other side. It's like <coughs> you see what we're doing over here and to get those big features mm-hmm. is like that's, it's that's a big deal. major. Yeah, but, yeah. but it didn't take five minutes. Like. No, I know, of course. You never see the behind the scenes work, but I can imagine, you know. Who were the artists that you looked up to when you first started doing this? Like for me, being a DJ, if it wasn't for (laughs) Jam Master J or Grandmaster Flash, those are the guys who I called my forefathers. And I always wanted to be them. And that's what got me to be a DJ to this day. And so shout out to Grandmaster Flash and rest in peace to Jam Master J. So who would some of those artists be? Yeah, my thing is that. Take us just, back, take us back, man. Take us back where <laughs> I might not even know the artist. Just take us back. Yeah, now my thing's just like hip hop, like from from early, you know what I'm saying? Like from all the way back, like Big Daddy Kane, like all the way fast forward. Yeah, okay. but, but me actually getting into music was like, I think it is definitely Master P. Mm. You get me? Because I was. About it, about it. Yeah, because I used to like see. These times we're just like gangsters running around, yep. you know, doing mm-hmm. crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Then I saw like Master P and that, and they were like some crazy nigga. Like, he, yeah, I don't want to get into what they were, you know what I mean. But like, I used to be around. That's no that's, that's, soldiers. Yeah, like, and they was from South as well. Like yeah. them times South wasn't yeah. ringing off the way yeah. they, that that time it was the East Coast thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so they and stuck they're out. still making noise. Like, yeah. and I was thinking, bro, we can do that. Like. You know what I'm saying? They were about um, their paper, they were about, they were about their independence. Yeah, you know, and them times I didn't even rap. I just thought, rap and be Master P. And my little brother used to rap. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I'll be Master P. <laughs> he can be like one of the artists on, on yeah, No dope. Limit. And yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Then, I, then after I just started getting into it. Yeah. I heard you had your own radio show at one time. Yeah, it's a radio station. Yeah. What, what was that like? Radio oh, station? Like, yeah. Yeah, not a ra- show. No, radio, radio station. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Big bang. See? Yeah. I'm going to go, didn't, I'm gonna I didn't go, feel like the fucking big bang. That was a job. nightmare. Them times it was, it was illegal. Why? Because it was, it was illegal. Oh, it was pirate DJ? Yeah, so we had to like break into some block. Oh, oh my God. God. Climb, climb all the way up the stairs. Like, get on the roof. But you see, what I respect about what you're telling me right now is that you struggled. You fought. And things were difficult for you just to produce... <clears throat> content for people to listen to yeah. mm-hmm. where today it's not it's this i don't think it's the same people get their phone out they click a button and they have their tune right in front of them okay. that understand? was no one was paying us on the radio nobody then. man yeah. that's what i'm saying so I, was like, I was like fuck this one i'm gonna do my own shit it can't be that hard <laughs> see there you but go we you saying <laughs> after a few months i was out yeah. <laughs> 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 Trust me. that was the, hard the work. struggles real gigs <laughs> yeah that's I heard you working with Mark Ronson too. Tell Mark I said hi, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's when I just got out of jail, 2012. You, you said you got out of jail? Yeah. Mark Ronson met up with you? Yeah, yeah. Them times I was hungry. hungry. I remember. Wow. This <laughs> is was inspirational a to hear. It's a different gig. Different gigs. Yeah. What, what are some of the big name DJs that you grew up to listen to? Or yeah. like in hip hop. Yeah, or, just period in hip hop. Like Raga, what anything? Just like what were the big name DJs? Um, well, Raga, like them days it was like Stone Love. See, yeah, it Stone, depend, it Stone depend, Love was popping yeah, in in yeah. in. What year? It different. When are you talking about though? Like I don't know. Growing up, 85, 1985. Nah, Wait, is that too you're, old? You're trying, to bear, like, you're, trying to bear, <laughs> you're trying to mess up my thing, like. Pop, I'm just telling you. Trying to mess up my I Wikipedia. Can go, I, I can go back. <laughs> I can go back. <laughs> He I said, was like, wait, hold on. I'm trying to mess up his Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 1995. Yeah, now nah, them times that, yeah, like Stone Love and Super D, Silver Hawk, them like sound okay. days and like. It's hip, amazing because Stone Love was popping in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's amazing to see that yeah. that name still rang yeah. from Flatbush, Brooklyn, all the way to the UK. Yeah. Them times I didn't even know they listened to Ragga in, in America. What? Yeah. Nah, even man. now, when I'm in Bro- um, New York now, right. I think, right, you little proper yardies, isn't it? Like, mm. like I was at um, Kiss's party yesterday, mm-hmm. and there's that like, playing bare, like old school Ragga, like 
Like, but, but like bangers, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, bro, what are you looking at about these tunes? Like, and it was ringing up, boop, boop. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, we grew yeah, up in there, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Flatbush. Nah, I can see, because they, they, they was like, they don't even play them kind of tunes in England, mm. in London, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was thinking, right, you don't know your thing. Like, yeah. For us, a big thing for us was dance hall. Dance hall mm -hmm. was, the, was the move. Yeah. But I see you have um, Mr. Easy on one of yeah. your, your records. Yeah, How, Easy. yeah like that's what I'm saying. Your, your, you know, your list of artists that you've worked with are Very so diverse. super diverse. So it's like, you know, where does that come from? Like, I know you've DJed before, but. I don't know, I feel like sometimes when we hear artists, they kind of stay within a certain lane where right. you're like Georgia Smith, like Swiss Beats, like it's so uh, versatile. So, yeah. you know, where does that, that come My from? My thing first and foremost is just music, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man just loves music, whatever it is, mm -hmm. whatever beat, mama will attack it, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. And bring gigs, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to the That's to true. the thing. Like yeah, flavor. Yeah, bring my thing. Yeah, but you know, UK has always been known for like soul soul music, right. great R and B, mm -hmm. great ragga music. I mean it's always been around it's it's been part of their DNA for a long time. Mm -hmm. For a very long time. Even way before we were born. Right. For sure. Was there ever a moment, well, obviously there's been a lot, but like a monumental moment where you're like, shit, like I made it or like I'm here. Nah, no, I made it, but like like, wow, this is mad. <laughs> like, yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Like, man grew up on this thing, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Even yesterday, like, that's like, I always talk to Kiss, but that's the first time that like, man's met him. You get me? Because right. you got to see him this yeah, time. Like, yeah, like, oh, and, like cool. when I'm there, I feel, right, nah, man, like, Kiss, you know. Yeah, that's I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? How'd you that's feel like, when you've heard that DMX passed away? Like, yeah, that was, that was emotional, man. It was tough, right? Yeah, that was sad, man. Yeah, that was, that was a tough sad, one for man. me too. So what's next, gigs? What you working on next? What's what's the what are you taking over next? What are you conquering next? You know, to be honest, man's just here. I just want to work with whoever wants to work. I like you know that. I'm saying the legends. I like the that. The new. My man, guys, gigs you know wants I mean? to work with well, anybody. Know. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put his phone number right here. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but man's been waiting though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so you know what I mean, like. Have you been in the studio a lot since you've been over here? Um, yeah. Well, I've only been there a week. I was in the studio with... He has to well, go over here. Let me not even say it. Let me not even say it, yeah. But no, but man's been in there. Man's yeah, been in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's been good. But I've been just taking it in as well, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Well, it's inspirational to hear your, your story. I mean, you're very humble, which I appreciate, but Absolutely. I feel like your caliber, like I said, is, is crazy. So thank, you, thank you for talking to us. Absolutely, thanks, brother. Thanks. And we'd love to talk to you again yeah, if we can. Definitely, definitely. Anytime. Right. Pleasure. Outside yeah, the box, baby. Outside the box, my man Giggs. DJ Sage, love you, girl. We here.